Mark, it's Randy here from Randy Cycle Service. Got your 68 BSA Lightning all set to go here, and uh, just wanted to run over the cold start procedure with you. Uh, as you know, we did uh, the carburetors, electronic ignition and everything, so everything is set up really nice now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're starting from cold today. It's about probably 75 degrees this morning. Uh, bike has not been running about two days, maybe three, so we're stone cold, uh, and cold being a relative term um, to the fact that the bike has not been run. So our first step on, on starting cold on this bike is we're going to turn on the tap, and we're going to let the carburetors fill up. Now what I did is uh, when I parked this bike a couple of days ago, I ran the engine until the carburetors went dry. And that's a procedure you should do every time you're going to park the bike for anything more than about two days. Because uh, the, with the ethanol in the fuel these days, even with stabilizer, it's not a good idea to leave fuel in the carburetors. So we now see that the carburetors are filled up. What we're going to do next is we're going to tickle the carburetors, and this will enrich it so that we can start it. And we're just going to do that until we get a trickle of fuel out of each side. Done the same on both sides, okay? Now we're going to turn the key on. Now we're not going to use the choke lever up here, and I'll cover that here in a minute, uh, because I haven't needed it yet, and this bike doesn't seem to when it's cold. Um, it may find that uh, when it's in really cold weather you may need to use it, but for now we're just going to leave it completely open. The choke is open when the uh, lever is perpendicular to the handlebar. So we're just going to leave that alone right now. Key's on, we've tickled it, and we're going to give it a kick. about an eighth of the turn open just to keep the idle up. The reason I'm doing that is because there is no provision for fast idle on these carburetors at all when it's cold. So the engine will not idle by itself until it's fully warmed up, uh, which usually takes about probably two to three miles of real world riding. So I'm just going to kind of babysit the throttle for a second here doing this. Uh, again, once I take a little quick ride and come back, then it'll idle just fine. That's perfectly normal. That's just the way these older bikes are. Thank you. 